since it's early in the morning and you guys haven't seen it in a while I want to show you the solar system here uh, the current status of it it's about maybe 630 in the morning right now it's just starting to get a little bit of light outside not quite enough to get any uh, light on the panels yet but oh, it's trying to right now but let me show you this and uh, actually just clicked over to the panels as I said that but let me show you this so this is my status this morning see our solar is barely coming in kind of coming in out just starting to be a little light it's early in the morning and the little bottom one right there that is your solar panel and that's your grid backup I have a grid backup here this is it running off the battery so these batteries are providing the power right now these four batteries right here are and so you see the battery status is really strong shows it's only running a, uh, anywhere from a 10 to 14 percent load we'll call it a 14 I just want to kind of make this video just to show you all that you know we can run this place completely off grid uh, we have grid backup, meaning we have a power source from the grid that if we didn't have solar for several days, the sun's not shining, something happens with the connections to our solar panels or something, you know, a component goes out. And we do have a backup. We have generator backup as well. I don't have to have the grid here. It's just no more than it costs us in a monthly bill if we do have to use some power from the grid. Uh, it's nice to have that as an option. Uh, like in the United States, there at our house, just to have the connection to the grid, you know, you're you're looking at a, I know at least there where I live, you know, you're looking at probably a $40, $50 a month bill, and you hadn't even used any power. That's just your uh, bill for being connected to them and a bunch of taxes and fees and all kinds of stuff, and you hadn't even accessed no power yet, you know, you've done nothing. So here in the Philippines, it's not that way. I've had bills down, you know, just literally three and four dollars and all. You know, if I got a little bill come in, if I if I use a little power from the grid and all that for some backup days on rainy days and all that, and I got to spend twenty twenty five dollars or something that month because it was a really rainy month and my solar didn't put out that much. I'm okay with that. Um, if that grid went down and then it was still rainy and I had to run the generator and listen to that noise, well, then I'll run the generator. But I'm not going to wear the generator out all the time because, you know, you're know you going to eventually have to replace that. It ain't going to run forever. And you got oil changes and you got fuel cost. So it's nice to have the grid as a backup only. But we can run this 24 hours a day when it's sunny weather without having to pull anything from the grid. And that's only running one inverter right now. And you see we're not even pulling that much load on it. Uh, as we get the whole house expanded, more air conditioners and all that, I'm going to have to up the ante and have more batteries and more panels. Uh, that's, that's part of the game. So I'll have to make that decision. Um, but no matter what, I'm happy to have this solar. When there's brownouts elsewhere, we're not brown out. And I really like that. Another thing is, is the grid power is unstable. It's like a wild voltage here. I've mentioned that before. I can read what the voltage is coming in from the, from the grid here into my inverter. It's telling me how much voltage is coming in. Well... You know, we're supposed to be at 220 volts. I've observed the grid, the backup power getting as low as like, I think it was 187 volts. I'm like, wow, that is low. And I can see what the hertz is too. And when it would get down that low, I'd also notice the hertz would get way off. And instead of it being at 60, it would be like at 57, 56 and all. And I'm like, uh, that ain't too good either. And so it's dirty voltage. I can clean up that, that power, and let me explain why. Because when I'm getting power from the grid, what it's doing is it's coming in and it's going through a charger and it's charging my battery bank, okay? So let's, let's talk about that hybrid unit. It's gonna have three major 
components inside of it, okay? And that's why it's called a hybrid, like an all-in-one. You're going to have your charge controller coming from the sun, from your solar panels. And it's going to convert that power from your solar panels in and charge your batteries. Then you're going to have the power that comes from the grid. And it's going through a charger. And that charger is going to convert, uh, just like your battery charger for your car, it's going to convert AC power to DC power, and it's going to charge your batteries. So you got two different chargers in there. You got your charger from the grid, and you got your charger from the solar panels. And then you have your inverter in there, and your inverter is taking that DC power from your batteries and turning it into the electricity you're going to use in your home. So that charger coming from the grid that's built inside this unit it can work in a wide range of voltages so even though we're running on a single phase 220 volt system here in the philippines and that's what all these appliances run on i can bring voltage in on that on that grid on that uh ac charging there i can bring voltage in as low as 100 volts and that charger will charge from AC to DC Even with a real low voltage. It's auto switching. It can Know how much power is coming in and still convert that over to the DC to charge my batteries So if their voltage is fluctuating and it's 190 then it's 230, you know and all uh, It's going to charge my batteries the same no matter what and then my inverter is going to take that power back out of the batteries and make me a nice clean even voltage that's always operating my equipment in here at a nice steady clean stream of voltage without those spikes because your appliances do not like those ups and downs and low power then high power and all that so it's nice because this actually works like a power conditioner for me at the same time you can actually buy power conditioners. They sell them here in the Philippines to hook to your items, to smooth out those waves of that high and low voltages and condition it, condition that voltage. So it will actually be like a voltage conditioner as well. And um, I like that. I like that. So I hope I hadn't lost you on that. I'd like to just share a little bit more about this solar um, so when they're talking about an all-in-one hybrid inverter charger, well, a lot, at least on this MPP Solar, this is the way it works. You got three components basically in there. It's kind of like three separate boards. You got your charger from the solar panels that's charging and turning that into DC voltage to go into your, your batteries. You got the power coming from the grid because it's got grid backup just back up it's not putting no power back out on the grid let's be clear with that you're not pushing nothing back out you're only bringing it in so it's safe you're not going to electrocute nobody out there you don't have to get no permits or nothing like that because you're not putting nothing back on the grid it's not net metering i'm not doing that kind of you you're just getting power from the grid when you need it and that power can be a wide range of voltage and it will still charge your batteries um, and this one here I can run I think I don't remember right now you can, six of the units or something like that um, you can just keep increasing for more power now the nice thing is if one unit goes down you don't lose your whole system you just lost some of your power capability go turn a few things off and use a few less items until you get your other inverter back fixed so if you end up with like three inverters like I probably will on this house right here well if one goes down you still got two you know and I like that redundancy if I bought just one great big unit and it was making 15,000 watts and you spent a whole bunch of money for that and it goes down you have nothing so I like spreading out my cards a little bit you know and uh, and if one unit goes down I still have two more operating well I just want to share about this solar some of you want to know and you know uh, 
I don't have a meter here. I don't have the watch power hooked up. That's an app that you can put on a, a laptop and hook up to this and all to give you an actual chart of the power usage and all that. I don't, I don't have all that going right now. I don't have a watt meter here or something I can hook up in line and, and give you that detailed information. I'm just sorry about that. I don't have all that information to give you. But I can just kind of give you a rough idea that with the panels I have on top, what is it, like 12 panels right now, I think. You can look at every one of my videos, probably count them up on the rooftop and see them. So with one inverter, those four batteries and those 12 panels, I'm running a large refrigerator. I'm running a large window unit air conditioner there. And, uh, and it's cooling this whole big garage that goes up through here and all. It's not even well insulated. It's concrete walls and uh, there's gaps around these temporary walls I have that are like eighth inch plywood. Um, water cooler, we run our microwave. We use it, you know, it's, it's off and on. It pulls a lot of power on its own. Water kettle, it gets ran. There's a little sandwich toaster thing over there. It gets ran. Other appliances and stuff get used here. Lights burning always, lights outside burning. Um, there's just so many items going on. Second refrigerator down there in the other apartment, as I said earlier. Fans, lights down there. Fan, security system, multiple routers, phone chargers, laptops being charged, tablets being charged with the kids. Um, you know, this TV. This TV going, uh, Melinda's boom box outside going, all these things. I mean, just life, life going on. And we can run 24 hours a day if it's a sunny day or a partly cloudy day. We can run 24 hours a day without ever having to take any power from the grid. But if we get into like uh, some continuous heavy cloudy days and all, well then, yeah, we might hear it click over and it's having to get some power off the grid then but we can keep that to a minimal um, that's that's where we're at here right now uh, to give you a price on how much I invested in all this well I can tell you that I spent right here on these four batteries I spent about three thousand dollars okay uh, they weren't cheap but for what I got they really weren't that expensive either those are the lithium iron phosphate batteries, what they call LIFEPO4 batteries from Felicity Solar. Um, Jason there at the company, the salesman there at that company, he treated me really great. That was shipping and everything, getting it down here to me. Their prices could have changed, so don't go yelling at him if he gives you a different price than he gave me because their prices might went up. Materials are tough right now, lots happen just since I even bought those batteries. Um, the inverters, I think back when I bought those, um, everything's went up since then. I think I gave like, honestly can't remember. See, it's been too much time. Um, I'm gonna go the high side. Let's say that I gave 600 a piece, okay? I'd rather go high than go low. Um, so let's say there's 1,200 in them right there. Um, so let's say there's 3,000. Let's say 600 a piece, there's 4,200 up there with the solar panels. Uh, those were probably about $150 each. Yeah, so it's about $1,350 on those panels up there. Um, that, was, that was pretty good. It was like 50 cents a watt. You can probably get better deals than that now, but it was pretty good. Uh, probably a little bit less than 50 cents a watt. I think when I figured it up, it was like 42 cents a watt. It's what I gave when I bought those. I did buy some rails, some tracks to mount them on. There's wire. There's a breaker. There's a an oscillator and there a PV oscillator. And there is um, also the combiner box up there. The solar panel PV combiner box. And that thing was only like $150, I think, also. I'm going to say by the time we add the difference on the panels and all the other parts, let's say that I was out probably about $6,000. If you want to give a little wiggle room for something a little bit more, you know, $6,000, $6,500, uh, you could put together a system 
that is pretty reliable but if you don't have enough battery backup you're just wasting your time honestly the batteries are the whole key to the deal they are the most important thing of it all um, I can put six of these batteries together it's what Felicity says I have four I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy the other two so I can um, max what I can do on this battery bank um, I'm running a 24 volt once again I, I would not do that again if I was buying brand new right now I buy 48 so don't copy me and buy a 24 volt system I've already had this for a few years the 48s with them were just coming out I wasn't sure about their models how good they were but the 24s had a little bit more proven track record with them at the time I would definitely buy 48 volt system your inverter and your batteries do not waste it on a 24 or a 12 all right so there you have it i know it's not like the best constructed video ever but some of you've been asking and wanting to know and so and in my opinion if you want something reliable and um and have a steady power over here and you're pulling about the same thing i'm gonna be pulling Somewhere between five to six thousand dollars will get you uh, some power going that's going to be pretty reliable. Um, but if it's constant rainy days, it's not going to be able to carry you all the way through. Uh, that's going to be the downside of solar. You can dream of wind, but the salt, if you near, live near a shore like I do, will eat it up. And if you have a typhoon to come through, it's going to tear it down. It is a wonderful deal. Everybody, take care. I'm going to close this out. Appreciate you watching the video. As always, be sure and hit that like, share, and subscribe to us. Please subscribe to us. Watch those commercials. Don't skip them all because I got to get something out of this deal. See you later.